Okay guys, just uh, it's Christmas day. We are getting ready to uh, make some sausage biscuit and gravy with some eggs and uh, I'm gonna run these biscuits in there at 350. I'm gonna set this, I've already preheated the oven. We're gonna set this up to about 13 minutes. All right, we got our pan on here for our gravy. We're gonna do is get in here and get some. We're gonna start it out with a little bit of oil. You don't need much. The sausage will make some, but I find that if you do not put your oil in there, what you're gonna do is start burning the sausage and we don't wanna do that. So we're just gonna get this sausage up and okay again we're we're gonna we're gonna take this sausage I'm gonna go about a half today so I want a little more a little over a half I want a little more sausage in the in the gravy today um, normally you could literally you could get by with a quarter of one of these packs you could you could literally do three uh, servings of sausage biscuit gravy with these if you don't have a whole lot of people eating so um, it's all to taste to what you like um, I'm gonna set this over here what I'm gonna do is let me grab I hope this uh, video is gonna be fine with the background music um, hopefully it will be so what I'd normally do, let me see if I got the, okay. What I normally do with the sausage is I will just squish it down. I'll put it in as a, like a ball. I'll just get it where it's not gonna go through my spatula. I'll just kind of cook it a little bit here like this. Um, then what I, what I normally will do I'll take a pizza cutter. You could you could use that meat chopper too. Um, turn it down, please. Thank you. A uh, little more. So we're gonna just try and get some recordings going on here. So we've had a very nice present opening Christmas this morning. Um, and I attribute a lot of that. I appreciate. Hey, Nicole. So let's get some baggies out here. And just say hi to Nicole. We've had a, a fun little uh, morning here with the kids. Everybody got their presents. I need to look up. <laughs> yeah, I have to move it down to get what's right in front of me. Yeah, so. All right, so we're... This is one of our favorite breakfasts. Um, so another another thing, you look you look in here now, and you're seeing a lot of moisture um, grease, right? And that's okay because that helps absorb the flour that we're going to have in this. Um, so we're going to be putting some flour and stuff in here to make it a gravy. Um, I have to give uh, props to my mother, God bless her, um, for making this and my observance of watching her and uh, learning how to make it. And one thing, if you're going to make a good gravy, 
most people can't make gravy. A lot of people can't make gravy. I'm not saying most, but a lot of people can't make gravy because they don't have the patience to make the gravy. They don't take their time and they don't um, basically it's about patience and you've got to go slow and I guess I'm equ equating patience with slowness I guess in one respect uh, so taking it taking the time I guess you should say in making this is the key so all right, so we've got our biscuits on. There's about seven minutes left on those. Turn the light on. And I'm gonna kind of start warming up our egg pan. Uh, so we're gonna be making some scrambled eggs. Um, all right. So again, as this, this starts getting brown, So the, the other thing is when you're making sausage gravy uh, you want a sausage that you like and if you got people that like your gravy your sausage gravy then make it the same way every time because what's gonna happen is they're not gonna like it because they don't know what they're gonna get the next time so I'm gonna just shut this off for a minute because what we're gonna do here is because I want this to be uh, chopped up fine. Now, some people like chunks of meat, and that's okay. You can make it chunky. You don't even have to chop it as much as we did this, right? But what I do is just take a pizza cutter, and I've tried the meat chopper, all kinds. This seems to be the best method that I have ever tried and the quickest and the most consistent just be careful not to knock it all over the floor because it will try and fall all over the floor okay so I'm not trying to make it micro thin but enough put it back in the pan here and this will this will help even out the cooking of it as well so scrape it back in the pan put it back on let it finish cooking okay now I'm gonna kick the fire back on I don't want this on high again just gonna put it on about medium medium high and we're just gonna let this finish cooking here any of the pieces that didn't get quite cooked because they were in clumps they will now get cooked and what we're doing is preparing this for our flour okay all right so we can put this over here What I'm going to do, I'm going to get ready for, and what I do is just put this here like this and get this ready. You can hear the, uh, the meat starting to pop, so we're getting the heat back where we had it. And I don't want to burn it, so that's, that's what's starting to happen here. I'm going to get our milk ready. Okay, um, so what we're going to do is now, we're going to start sifting this. Now the importance is sifting, and you don't want to just put it all in one place. Again, what I said before, patience. 
and slow. Be slow and be patient. So what I'm doing is just giving this kind of a heavy coat and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start folding this into the sausage. I'm going to get it folded into the sausage. Okay, I'm just going to kind of like smush it as best as I can because what we're trying to do is get this mixed in, blended, packed in to each of the little, into the meat itself. And what happens is, is once we start adding the liquid, the liquid literally starts, when this thing starts cooking in, in hot liquid, such as the, the milk in our case, and this is just uh, vitamin D milk. Um, this to us is a, uh, a non-dietary uh, food. So we're not looking to lose weight when we're eating this. So that's why we're using that. Uh, some people may use may uh, choose to use some heavy whipping cream to thicken their milk if they want or however you want to do it. Okay, so once again, we got that folded in there. We're going to add another layer. Just remember, the more layers you do, the more liquid it's going to take um, to... And, and you're getting volume by the amount of layers. So this isn't the only time we'll be putting flour in, but this is starting the base. This will get our base started really good. And when we start our base, and as you can see, it's, it's, it's sopping up all that grease that we had before in the pan. So, and, and what the, the big thing is, is having this meat hot, okay? And having the meat hot and get this all incorporated into each piece of sausage is really good. So I think we're at a point here. We don't want to start burning. We don't want to keep adding flour. So we're going to start introducing some liquid, the milk in this case, vitamin D milk. And we don't want to fill it up. Again, timing, going slow, incorporating this. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start bringing that flour blend out of the sausage. So again, by the same way that we were putting it in and pushing it in there, we are now gonna be trying to bring it back out to blend into the liquid. And what that's gonna do is slowly transform it into a nice thick gravy. And we're gonna keep doing the same process over and over so once it starts getting getting uh dry again we're just going to keep it wet again don't overdo the milk with that cold milk because you're going to create yourself lumps and that's one of the keys in gravy is nobody likes lumpy gravy i haven't met anyone that likes lumpy gravy so again we're going to just introduce this this milk back in here right okay our biscuits are saying that they are done or about done all right so i'm going to turn that back off there all right so we're going to set our timer again that was to the lowest i want to go another four minutes on those again this is not a meal that you can cook and have too many irons in the fire this is this is one that you have to stay on or you're not going to be successful at this so um, some people at this point i'm going to just you, you can start using one of these um, i just can't bring myself to use those plastic ones if you find a uh, thin a thin plastic one i mean the things on it being thin as a wire that might work for you I'm um, just careful with the pan not to scratch it and at this point I am not that worried about scratching the pan but uh, normally they're pretty good if you don't dig into them and you're gentle with them not to scratch them but you do that at your own risk uh, some of these pans are very very expensive and I know people would cringe if you had a metal object or anything that would be scraping a pan some of them could be well over $200 these days, but you won't find me buying. <laughs> All right, so let's bring our thing over here. 
All right. So once again, we're gonna we're gonna do another dump of milk, and now once we've gotten some volume, now we can start putting a little more milk in at a time. Okay. So what I'm doing here is we've just dumped a, a good amount of milk. Um, I'm gonna crank up the heat just a little more, not not quite high because I don't want it cooking that fast. So at this point, the reason I put a little extra milk in this time um, was the fact that I want to literally add some more um, gonna add some more flour again in it okay so yeah get our pan cleaned out there okay so we're gonna do some eggs here okay. Nicole, you want to do these eggs for me? Okay. And yeah, just keep an eye on your stuff there. All right, so we're going to do two, four, six, eight, about nine eggs should be plenty for a family of four. Okay. And I've got these, and again, I'm going to check our biscuits. I think those are pretty much done, and we're going to just pull those out and find a place to put them. I'm put that over there, and these should be looking good. And we're just going to set those over here. Uh, we are done with the oven. Let's shut the oven off. And it looks like we are starting to boil here. And that's a good thing. Looks like I dropped my thing in here. So, take this over. Rinse it off real quick. Alright. Okay. All right, so we are starting to boil over here, and that's good. So this is all thickening up over here. All right. Give it a couple more seconds there. While we throw some oil in our skillet for our eggs. Okay. And we're just gonna turn that on medium. Um, I'm going to mix up our eggs here. Once again. Okay. Okay. Now, let's get this thing stirred up. Make sure nothing's sticking here. All right. Okay. Now we're gonna some pepper in our eggs once again we're going to cook the eggs slow we're going to cook them slow because we don't want crusty eggs we don't want them burn we're going to throw some salt in there and definitely some pepper and again again you can control the amount of biscuit and gravy that you have by the amount of flour and liquid to bring it back to the consistency 
of the gravy that you like. And once again, I say consistency because some folks, and, and here we're just gonna, again, fold this in, fold this flour in. So I'm almost stabbing at it to push it down. I don't wanna mix it because it will all lump up together. It will all come together. So now, I'm just doing small stir stirs, swirls here, because I don't want it to all go to one place. All right, so now I'm gonna grab some more milk. I'm gonna add it in there and then I'm gonna slowly fade it in, blend it back out to the rest of this. I'm gonna let it come back up to heat here. Okay, and when this, when you've got the desired amount that you want and the consistency, always make it a little thinner than what you expect to eat it at because gravy is always going to continue to cook and thicken once you get done. So that's why you would make it a little, a little. What I mean a little is that, you know, hey, I'd like to cook it for a little longer because it's not that good yet, okay? Um, so now we're just gonna come over here with our eggs. And again, if you don't if you don't like crusty eggs, you're just gonna have to cook them slow and keep them off of the bottom from burning. I have uh, used to it didn't matter so much to me. These days, I I almost like an egg that's uh, just on the verge of being not done. Not. I guess saying that, I'm just saying that I would rather have a soft, softer egg than a crustier egg or one that's been cooked to overcooked. So that's kind of what I'm talking about there. So, all right, so anyhow, and I'm gonna just, this paddle, oh, just, just folding these over work fine and once again just keeping them from staying on the pan too too long so these are cooking great I think the heat is good I'm right on medium on this and yours is gonna cook different all right so Go back to this and I just want to make sure we got this thing going good and I'm liking this I'm gonna I'm gonna just turn this off right now and again I just tell you this is very controllable if you get it stable and what do I mean by stable I'm gonna take this off of there because these these burners just keep keep heating um, look at there I'll put some milk in my eggs that was silly um, anyhow I'm just gonna fold these over as they cook just fold these over as they cook the oven off now we're just uh, finishing up the eggs here we got the biscuits finished so now I'll start just cutting these up a little bit so we can start like the sausage start getting and cooked through and we salt and peppered them be tasty 
Hey, can we get the uh, table set up for breakfast, please? Somebody, hot sauce, ketchup, plates. Okay. I'm gonna grab a bowl for the eggs here. All right, Put another bowl here. We're just gonna kind of get some things started here. Okay. And we're just gonna clean this bowl here out for a minute and uh, we'll do we need the table set please I like to uh, kind of clean dishes as I go here. And we're just going to kind of clean up the board here. Looking for our other spatula. Okay. And I have not seen it, so we will use this. Our biscuits broke free from the pan. Okay. And our pan has cooled off, so we are going to just put these out on the table okay and we are gonna get ready for breakfast all righty now once again um, I want you to know that we have and as I told you before your gravy is going to thicken up now this is exactly what I like the gravy to be if you wanted if you wanted at this point would be a great time to go ahead and you could make this gravy less thick so you could thin out this gravy you could literally at this point make more gravy um, so what we're gonna do kind of some of this stuff up Okay. Okay. So, once again, I'm just going to put our gravy in here. All right. Thank you, dear. You're welcome, Dad. Got, um, 
forks. We have forks. Okay. And there's some milk. I don't know if you got cups on the table yet. Okay. Can bring some cups out. Some cups. You can take the milk over. Okay, thank you. And we can also have some uh, juice this morning. Some coffee. So, if you like juice, there's the juice. Now, we did not make our rounds, um, our potato rounds today. We normally will have some of those. But uh, we did not make those today. And you can see, and just making, setting the table here. Let's get a serving spoon for the eggs. Okay, so do we have our We got our uh, ketchup, hot sauce. So we're gonna bring out some hot sauce. We got the Louisiana sauce. We got the Tabasco. Um, there is some uh, tequera sauce. Uh, all right. So. Okay, everybody. We are about to have some food here. Some gravy, biscuits and gravy. Ouch. This is hot. I'm going to just put that there in the middle. All right. So that's going to be it. We're going to have a seat. We're going to pray and thank the Lord for this Christmas day and our family. And uh, everybody say hi. Merry Christmas. Hi, Merry Christmas. Awesome. Have a great day.